Process. We landed in a storm and uh, couldn't get off the plane. Had to sit on the runway for a little bit. And then when we got off, they still couldn't let the baggage handlers out to get our luggage off the plane. So that was sort of another hour, hour or so. Customs was fantastic. Ten minutes. <laughs> just, just never known anything like it. It was great. So that was a bonus of coming on a later flight. But. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was hard going. We should have landed about 25 past six. We didn't end up getting off the plane and through to um, customs till about 10 past quarter past seven. And then we didn't get our luggage till maybe quarter past 20 past eight. Um, it was a long old process. Then we went to get our car from Alamo which was a nightmare. The car they gave us, the Ford Experience, should have been a lovely nice big car. The bumper was hanging off, it wasn't looking good. We were then being given a Nissan um, Armada. Nice big car, the same as we had last time. Except this one, the majority of the cars in the Alamo line had scraped up. Looked like we'd been in a banger race. We chose the best one we could. Um, we'll actually have to have a look at it, better look at it in, in the daylight. But today's plans are going to change because we're up silly early, obviously knackered and drained from, from travel day. So we was going to head to a practical from this morning. That's not happening now. We're going to go out, get some breakfast, head to Target, Walmart, get supplies, do a bit more shopping elsewhere, come back and have some good pool time, and then we're off to Magic Kingdom. So we've still got to wait for the little princess to wake up yet. So we're just going to chill here before heading up for breakfast. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. So just to show you all guys, this is our villa for the next two weeks. And here's the beast. This and Armada again, but yeah. Not a really impressive Alamo this time, but still a nice, lovely big car. And I bet it's just take you for a walk around. And also with the car, Sydney has named the car, but I'll let her tell you that when she wakes up. She's still having a nice sleep at the moment. She really needed it after yesterday. I think uh, the long travel day got to her quite a bit, so I'll let her tell you the name of our car for the next two weeks when she wakes up. So this is our village walk in. You come in straight away, we've got a twin this side, an adjoining bathroom. Main area, we've got a little computer station. This is the other twin. Oh hi Harry. Alright mate. Yeah. We're still unloading in here. And that's where we join up for the bathroom. Somehow, me and Danielle have managed to get the Nemo room while the kids have the nice big beds. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> ah, as we come back through, here's the living area. It's a nice space, nice big telly. We've got some breakfast bar stools here. Nice kitchen area. It's opened up, table. We've got washer and dryer in here. Nice sort of standard villa. What is nice about this one? We've got a pool table. 
It's quite cool, got a few bits in here, it's just usual standard stuff. Some extras if we want them. There is a dart board. Not that I'm gonna let the kids loose with darts, but we might have a little game of pool. Quite nice. With the villa, we did pay extra to get an executive plus. I wanted to make sure the kids had good Wi-Fi and, and bits for the villa. So we did get a little welcome pack, cornflakes, coffee, and uh, they made sure there was a, a Coke and a Sprite in the fridge and a bit of milk. So not too bad. So one of the main doubles, Harry's taken this one. Nice big beard. En suite. Walk round. And he does have access out to the pool. Nice pool there, I'll take you out there in a minute. Good thing about all the doors here, all got alarms. So we'll know if the doors get opened. Sydney is still asleep at the moment in that one. But let's take you out to the pool to have a look. The pool area is quite cool. A couple of lounges. It was full of floats and, and balls and everything when we got here, so we don't need to buy any of those extras. We did bring some ourselves. But yeah, nice to have the jacuzzi in this one. It's quite deep, so it's cool. Jacuzzi controls are just over there. But yeah, nice pool. Lounge area. What I do like about this one is we got bushes, shrubbery, all the way around. So we've got a little bit of privacy, which is quite nice. And nice, yeah, decent sized pool. Can't moan. Sydney does have access too, but once again, it does have alarms everywhere, so we'll know if these doors get opened. But yeah, looking forward to having some fun in here today, later on. We're not actually on Highlands this time round, but we're that close. We've come back to our usual IHOP. Kids choice of breakfast on the first day. IHOP's a tradition. Oh, vlogging the vlog. Vlogging the vlog, vlogging the vlog. Vlog vlog. Vlog vlog. I'm so excited to see how many Fanta flavors or flavors and Pop-Tart flavors are. Oh wow. So we're going to have a Fanta and Pop-Tart, don't play with that, Fanta and Pop-Tart challenge are we? Fanta, Pop-Tart and Oreo. Right, so what are you having? You're having yeah, strawberries and crepes. Strawberries and cream crepes. Oh nice, nice. But I'm not having the strawberries. Okay. Because... Harry, we're going wakey wakey mate, that's that early morning swim. We go in sausage, toast, and chicken, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I got a little bit of it. I think I'm gonna go old school, just go for the breakfast sampler. You decide what you want yet? So how do you know we're on holiday? Milkshakes for breakfast. Nice. So, breakfast sampler, look at how, mate, that chicken looks immense. Breakfast of champions, look at yours, boo. Nice. We have very helpful service. She helped us out, got us all what we needed. Yeah, ready? Let's dig in. You tell me, bro. I'm watching your vlog. Look, you're on the wrong side of the car. You're not even focusing. Uh, a full car participation. How was everyone's breakfast? Good. Breakfast at IHOP. I think Harry had the little, best bre little, breakfast. Little oh, definitely, best mate. That best. chicken looked. Dropped in. All got bills on. Yeah. Breakfast coming at 60 bucks with tips, so 70 bucks there. Really nice breakfast. Always start our help on our first day. Yeah, we've decided we want to hit Walmart and Super Target. Yeah, mm -hmm. look for Olivia and some Stranger Things. Or something. Or something else. Okay, right. We'll catch up with you. Catch up. When we're Leo. at Target. Mm -hmm. We're just at the top up some gas as we was only given the car with half a tank. So we've just done that. We're now heading down to Target. Sydney's gonna look for a Olivia Rodrigo stuff. <laughs> so we've just come in Target, but whilst filling up um, at the gas station there, um, I thought, Scotty, you jumped out, mate, because there was an advert flashed up whilst I'm stood there filling up the up the car. Angry Orchard, telling me how you get your two apples in every can. But I was just running off. What you got? Oh, wowzers. And they've got lots of bits here in Oh my gosh. They've got lots of bits here in Target. If you did want to get some Disney t-shirts, they're a lot cheaper than getting on site as everyone knows. It's not a bad Mickey t-shirt actually. What it is, that's quite cool. 14 bucks. Alright, let's 
keep looking. Sydney's just found a Stranger Four Things poster. Boo, I went out and showed everyone the car today and I told them that you've named it. What have you oh, named it? Eddie. You've named our car Eddie. Oh, so this is who we're after, yeah? Billy Eilish. Okay. But you want to look for a book, don't you? Is it a scrapbook? Is it a scrapbook we're after? Oh, right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh, <laughs> I saw this on David and Ian's vlog, though. Look. Look at the Jaws pinata. We could do a full blown Jaws party. Right. So we're crafting. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're not buying paint for the villa. We've got a security deposit in place. I love this about Target. I mean, look at these. These are crazy good for what you get for 10 bucks. Look at that. And then it can all be painted. Well, let's keep, it's 10 bucks, Blue, look. Well, let's keep looking, yeah, and then we'll go around the whole shop and then we can decide. All right? So we found it. We found it. We got the Olivia Rodrigo. So what is this, Boo? Sour Diary. Okay. We're very lucky we found the last one in the store. Found the Lego section. That's quite a good set. The T-Rex Breakout. A good little set, but 140 bucks still. A lot of dough. Did see some potter. Oh, here we go. Big potter. Oh, I will build you soon, folks. I promise. Oh, Grimble Place. I've been looking at that one. Oh, well, I do like the Ministry of Magic, but there's not a lot to that set for 140 bucks. Grimble Place for 119, and it, it splits. I do like that. Let's see, it splits and comes apart. I could well I'll take Grimmauld Place home with me. I don't know. We'll see. We found the ice cream aisle. Don't have to keep jumping. I'll show you. Look at these. Just look how good these ones look. Rainbow Road. Mermaid. Cotton candy. Oh, birthday cake looks good. Oh. <laughs> that thinking face, mate. What one were you looking at? Cheese stuffed crust. Uh, I can see why you were thinking so hard about that one, mate. That does look good. Evan has found our egos. Oh, so we've got the sugar cookies. Oh, oh, mini cookies. They look good, Harry. Look at the mini chocolate chip cookies. Ego flavoured pop tarts. Yeah. That is crazy. Have you seen some of these sugar cookies? Yeah, yeah. These are like the ones from that. Oh, Harry. These are the ones from Guess, like guess what? Cookie. Guess what? These are like the ones from Cumbell Cookie. Cumbell Cookie. Guess what? Harry went, look, I found the donuts. <laughs> We're going to go public for so the donuts, mate. Oh, what we get? Oh, wow! Some of these cakes. Oh, there we go. Harry, is that one yours? That one? Look, piled up cookies. This one? That's for cookie cake. Oh, big cookie cake. So we're back in the car. It's 10 past 10, and I've already made an executive decision for the family for the rest of the holiday. We're no longer allowed to go to Target because it costs too much money. It cost $206. It cost over 200 bucks, and I don't feel we've got anything. We have. Which is just crazy. The dog's got more than I did in that shop. It's true. That's true. <sighs> right. Let's go. So we're back from a little shop. We also stopped at Publix to pick up some essentials, which I'll show you in a second. But just picked up some little snacks at the villa. We love the lace, Chris, when we're back. Harry loves his cookies. And the stop at Publix was for, of course, if you didn't know, now you know, Publix Donuts. Yes. Boo. They're good. Yeah. They're good. And standard chocolate milk. Harry, we tried the chocolate milk. It's good, but it's not quite TG Lee, so we're going to have to go to Publix and get some proper soon. Yeah, have some of mine, mate. Go for it. 
Nice, like it? Yeah. It's alright, passes the test. I don't try and, I don't try and we're back to public donuts. Yeah? Good times, good times. I don't do the difference. What? I don't do the difference of the chocolate nuts. What? I've got still so much to teach you, Harry, I can tell. Right, so plans are changing, guys. I mean, that was a long, long travel day with some big speed bumps right at the end of it, which we got through, we got through. It was tough, it was tough, but we got through. Anyway, so that has changed our plans. We're definitely scrapping Aquatica for this morning. We are, thanks for letting me know. We are going to just have some villa time, even just on that quick trip out for breakfast, Target, Publix, you know, quick stop. Kids, tiredness. We're just going to have a chill day today. Oh! <laughs> We're just going to have a little chill and a relax. Oh, let me change arms. Oh, no, no. Thanks, mate. Thanks. You're Thanks. Welcome. So we're just going to have a little chill for now. Donuts, chocolate milk, swim. Just chill in the villa, take some time, get our bodies back a little bit, all right? Then we're gonna head out. We're hitting Magic Kingdom this afternoon, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I got it! <gasps> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> A little while later we're coming down kids choice pizza hut we just stopped at old town 192 there's the sky coaster i did that quite a couple of times now a few years ago i see your pre-travel day's gone up yeah nice nice right i made one mistake it's okay you're still learning right let's go eat some pizza okay so change of plan yeah we went into pizza hut and the kids kind of went, look, where is everyone? We were literally the only people in there. I had to explain to them that no one really eats in in Pizza Hut over here. It's all takeout with deals. So they kind of went, I don't really want to eat because no one's here. So we've ended up coming down to TGI. Yeah, I know. So we've come down to TGI's just down by Star Island, which is where we stayed. On, uh, in October of 2018, so it's a real nice spot, a lovely spot. And oh, nice. Gavin, can I drink? Give us a golden. Yeah. So our plans have changed a little bit. We have decided that we are pretty tired. Well, you've got eight hours in. The rest of us are up at three and four in the morning. Yeah. It's the faces. You can tell she got some sleep. So we decided. I don't think we're going to make it to Magic Kingdom. We're going to go and do a little bit of shopping, stay local, maybe pick up a nice twisty treat. Uh, what are you doing? Stop it, Eleven. Oh, oh okay. Don't tell everyone. We'll show them. We'll show them when we do it. All right. The bed was fine. It was just like a shoe. There's a reason you're There's a reason you're the brains, boo. Anyway, we're gonna grab a little pudding on the way back after shopping. Just get back to the villa, enjoy some more donuts and get ready for tomorrow.
we don't want to have a knock-on effect for the rest of the trip. We are heading to SeaWorld tomorrow to take to take Harry on his first set of big boy roller coasters. Which I am really looking forward to. Really looking forward to. Right, we've come to TGI's. I'll show you once the food comes out. Sydney, you are so cheesy. Sydney's got. <laughs> Will you stop it? <laughs> oh, we all got the jokes today. Sydney's got nice Caesar salad. Harry's got fish and chips for sharing some mozzarella dippers. I've gone for the good old boneless wings. Right, let's tuck in. Once again. You can tell who got eight hours in. <laughs> so we last left you in TGI's. That was a nice meal, um, but another 80 bucks. I think definitely the uh, the exchange rate has not made stuff. Oh, thunder! Has not made stuff. You know, same price it used to be. So meals are a lot more expensive. So it was uh, so it was a lot of other things at the moment. But anyway, we was going to jump over to the Buena Vista factory stores here, a couple of outlets, but managing after yesterday with kids, we're letting them guide us. And even though Sydney got her eight hours in, Harry didn't, and he was fading fast and then didn't start to feel well. So we called it quits on Magic Kingdom, called it quits on shopping, and just decided to get back. It was going to jump in the pool, but on the way back we've had quite a lightning show. So I finally managed to get my caffeine fix as we've got a Starbucks luxury opposite our subdivision, which is quite nice. So we're just going to chill for tonight, just put the kettle on for, for Danielle. The kids are just sort of chilling. What we don't want to do is have a knock-on effect to the next few days. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. We're hitting SeaWorld, which means we're hitting some coasters and, uh, and, a, and a few bits. It's a nice walk around the park. So we don't want to, you know, Obviously, this, this could go on for a few days. If you keep trying to push through it, we're better off just trying to have an early night tonight, get onto SeaWorld, have a real nice day. Then we're gonna have a little chill and then we're hitting Animal Kingdom tomorrow night because we want to see Pandora all lit up. So we're probably gonna call it there for today, guys. So please remember to like and subscribe. Keep following us along on this journey. The next one will be better, I promise. This has just been a bit of a judging how we're all feeling type of day, so it's not really gone to plan. But Next one is gonna be full of thrills, I promise. So keep following us on, as I said. Leave us a comment, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. So it looks like missing Magic Kingdom was a blessing in disguise. This storm was in for the evening and it didn't let up at all. That's another thing we did notice on this trip. Storms were lasting a lot, lot longer than normal. No 20 minute downpour. And then you're back out, it was it was hours and hours on end. So it looks like it was a little blessing in disguise, but not a problem. We were just having a good old recharge. So we'll see you in the next one. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. now